failure of Israelis and Palestinians to negotiate a two-state solution to their conflict has resulted in a very disturbing situation, including what we are discussing today. But the Israeli-Palestinian conflict will only be resolved by direct negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians, not by the Palestinian authorities inciting young people to hate and kill, as is happening on the West Bank today. Indeed such, in no, indeed, such incitement is specifically in breach of the Geneva Conventions. We must remember 75% of the offences committed by Palestinian minors are violent crimes, including murder, attempted murder, shooting, making and throwing Molotov cocktails and attacking soldiers. 30% of assailants in the terror attacks of 2016 were under 18 years old, the youngest being 11. For example, in June 2016, 13-year-old Halel Ariel was stabbed to death by Nasser Tarrah, a 17-year-old Palestinian who climbed into her home and stabbed her repeatedly in a frenzied attack in front of her younger siblings. This violence... This violence has been encouraged by the Palestinian leadership in direct contravention of the Geneva Convention, which specifically prohibits the recruitment and involvement of children in terrorist activities. Fatah recently tweeted a practical guide to show young people how to throw rocks, euphemistically called stones. And this has res resulted in the murder of young people, including Yehuda Haim Shohan, aged five months. The Palestinian authorities incite hatred towards Jews and Israelis. The Palestinian youth magazine Zai Zafuna's October issue claimed that Muhammad sanctifies the throwing of rocks at Jews. Terrorists are glorified. A recent report from Impact Say shows school books glorifying violence and martyrdom. The PA's rewritten 2017 curriculum teaches children about the PA's of the Palestinian Authority <coughs> support for people who carry out terrorist attacks. One PA TV programme, The Best Home, in May 2015, in that a girl recited a poem calling Jews barbaric monkeys who murdered Allah's pious prophets. If young people are continually told that murderous terrorists are heroes, it is not surprising they try to emulate them. Nobody can be content with the current situation and all individual allegations of any injustice must be investigated. But the answer is to negotiate peace, not to glorify hatred and violence by telling young people and children that murdering Israelis is justified resistance.